Celebration. Cheers. Mm. Don't worry, you guys. This is just lemonade. <laughs> I just put lemonade in this cup because I got this cup from the curls, um, frizz free curls. Um, they had a cruise not too long ago. So I decided to put a drink in here. So it's just lemonade with blueberries in it as well. Can you even see the blueberries? There they are. With blueberries and lemons in there. So today is a celebration because Curls has come up with another product to add to their collection. It's the latest product, which is the Blueberry, <laughs> Blueberry Bliss Control Jelly. So here it is. Um, so basically this is a jelly and of course Curls products are natural products. There's no soft face, no silicones, no parabens, no artificial oils, colors, um, and there's no fragrances, artificial fragrance anyway. But that is so awesome because this stuff smells amazing. I used this last night and this is what I got today and I did not... Um, you know keep these twists in for days or anything this was just overnight it was i styled this on um stretched dry hair uh well not really stretched it was just dry hair so i didn't start on um damp hair initially but i did add water um i added water a leave-in and i and oil and then I use this jelly on top of it it's kind of like a product announcement as well as um, a review and kind of like a styling demo I didn't style from start to finish but I'm going to show you what this product does to my hair I'm going to show you how to style your twist out because this twist out is banging and we probably want to do different styles with it Now it is time to style our hair. So we have our twists. They're all dry. They're chunky because we want it to be a chunky twist out. I always like to take them all down first. And then we'll go through and separate and see if we have um, the definition we want. So as you can see, we got some good definition in these twists. Pretty impressive. And if you find, you know, pieces that don't want to separate, just leave them alone. Um, you don't want to force it because that's when you may start messing up the curls that you, you know, defined. We're going to finish styling, but I have to brag for a second, and I'm not bragging on my hair. I'm bragging on these products. This is the new Blue Bla <laughs> I can never say this. The new Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. If you guys, listen, I don't even think this has come out yet. But you need to be waiting for this to come out, you guys. And you have to add this to your collection. It is so amazing. All right, so let's finish styling. <laughs> so the first style is just a twist out. So I'm going to keep it in the same shape 
but I'm going to do a little bit of picking at the roots just to give the body that I want. I'm not, I promise you guys, I'm not going to mess with the curls too much. Because I know I like drive you guys insane when I mess with the curls too, too much. The next day when you take down your twist out, if you are like not feeling it um, and you don't know what you're doing wrong, you might want to just add this step of, you know, picking your roots to give it some shape. Because we have a lot of hair, but, you know, when we do twist outs and such like this, and you're combined in so many strands in one curl, it tends to make it look like you don't hardly have any Keep hair. Keep watching out for the release of this product, which is called the Blueberry, Blueberry Bliss. <laughs> curl control jelly I'm so excited about this because the curl control paste is bomb so these two together are freaking magical so the first way is you're going to leave some of your hair down so about this much this section right here I'm going to leave down I'm gonna leave that part down too so we're going to pull all this up into a puff, but I just want you to see that I left this whole area right here down. I'm using the viewfinder as a mirror, you guys. And I have, I thought I had, yeah, I have a goody hair band here. Uh, I keep on grabbing more hair. Maybe I can't put that part up. So now you're just going to blend your puff into the pony, I mean you're going to blend the puff into the hair that you left out, which should be fairly simple. That's the good thing about our hair, it's so easy to blend. And then you're just going to make sure that you shape it properly all the way around. If you need to pull the hair pick back out to um, mold it properly, you can do that as well. I think I want to put this part up. But as you can see, we've created an illusion of like a side pony. And it makes it look like you have more length than you really have. Because to me, it doesn't even look like I have a bang out or any pieces out. It looks like I just pulled the pony to the side. Here's the side view. The front. And the other side. So, that is another style you can do with your twist out, your blueberry, your blueberry twist out. Alright, so now we're ready for the next style. The next style is just a regular puff. But the puff that we're going to do is going to be closer to our hairline. So it'll create kind of like a bang. And then I'm going to show you one more style where if you don't have enough hair yet to do this style, then there's a trick that you can do. So I'm only wrapping a goodie hair band around once on my hair. And then for this style, the goodie hair band needs to be like close to your hairline as possible. So you can place it here and hold it. And then with your hair you're going to pull your hair this way so it'll kind of like anchor that goody hair band down and it's it may start to you know go back up there I mean it'll start sliding back but then you just have to reposition it throughout the day um, 
So I always use my hair to pull the goodie hair band. So as you can see, our puff is going more forward instead of back. So it's going forward. Um, and then up here, you're just going to make sure that all the curls are going to cascade forward. And if your hair is too long to do it this way, then just pull it, you know, pull the puff back as far as it can go to give you the right length of a bang. So if your hair is super long, then of course you want your puff to go back a little bit more to decrease the hang time right here. So that's the second style, very simple and quick. Puffs are the best. Alright, so the last puff style that we're going to do is if you don't have enough hair to have that hang time fall in, um, to as like a bang type of thing, is what you can do is you can just pull out a bang. And I have a tutorial on this one um, somewhere on my channel. But then you're going to put the puff right here. And again, I only wrap it one time. And now you're going to, again, blend the puff in with the bang area so if your hair like I said if your hair was a little bit shorter this would be like perfect it wouldn't be in your face because of course your hair would be a little bit shorter so it would do that bang but even if your hair is this length you can still do it this way and then just pull this hair to the side you could pull it to the side or you could even split it <laughs> like so but I think it's better if you just pull it to the side. This kind of looks the same as the other style, the first puff that we did. Um, so yeah, so of course these styles are coming out like so flawlessly because we had the perfect twist out. And we got that perfect twist out with the Curls Control Paste by Curls. Like I am so impressed with these products. And I, I have to say it, you gotta get both because... The jelly is perfect, like I said, for a twist out um, to really give you that that hold and the definition and the shine. My curls at the end, just flawless. Look at them. There's nothing straight about these ends at all. Yeah, loves it.